Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with another Firewall Ultra video for you to enjoy. Ever since Firewall Ultra was revealed, I've been sniffing and digging to see if I can find out any extra details at all, and I did come across something that might suggest that Firewall Ultra could be an Unreal Engine 5 title. And if Firewall Ultra manages to launch alongside the PS4 2 early next year, then it could be one of the very first Unreal Engine 5 games available on the market. Now, if you like Firewall Ultra or just PlayStation Virtual Reality 2 in general, then be sure to hit the subscribe button as I'll be doing a lot of Ultra and PS VR 2 content on this channel. With that out of the way, let's jump in. So like I said, I was doing some digging on Firewall Ultra to see if I could find anything worth talking about and I decided to check out First Contact Entertainment's official website. And in particular, their careers page, as you can often get some hints about what a developer are working on by the kind of requirements and job responsibilities and all that kind of stuff that they're looking for. So they're currently looking for three roles to be filled and one of them, which is for technical animator, lists that a standout or bonus skill for you to have would be not only Unreal Engine 4 experience, which is what they created Firewall Zero Hour on, but also Unreal Engine 5 experience. Now there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, the other two job listings don't mention anything at all about Unreal Engine 5, just UE4. So it is obviously possible that this has nothing to do with Ultra. It could be for some other game that they're working on or that they will work on in the future. And number two, before you get too excited, we do know that Unreal Engine 5's two most impressive features, which are Nanice, and if you don't know what Nanice is, it basically allows for super detailed assets in the game world at a low cost, and Lumen, which is Unreal's super advanced lighting system. Both of these things are not yet supported for virtual reality. Or are they? Let me quickly talk about a gentleman called Alex Kalumbe. I'm probably butchering his surname, we'll call him Alex from now on. Alex has been working on getting Lumen and Nanice to function on Unreal Engine 5 for the past few months, and he's had good success getting demos running at a solid 90 frames per second. Now, I'm nowhere near technical enough to really understand this or whether or not this is something that First Contact Entertainment could use themselves for Firewall Ultra, but even if it's not something they could get in there for launch, it is possible that if they are using UE5, and Lumen and Nanice become optimized for VR later on, that they could maybe implement them. Maybe. Now again, I'm not a game developer, so I could be talking complete diarrhea about that. But even outside of Lumen and Nanice, UE5 offers other features that improve over UE4 that First Contact Entertainment could use for Ultra. Features like world partition, better animation tools, meta sounds for better audio, a more efficient workflow and other stuff like that, I'm sure. Now maybe you're someone who's much more technically minded than I am and have an opinion about this or would like to correct me about everything incorrect I'm saying right now. If so, do it in the comments below, I'd be happy to see that stuff. But let me know also what engine would you like to see Firewall Ultra running on. That'll be it for this video. Thank you to Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out, Decepticon.com. Link to his website will be in the description below. Also, if you like the video, please consider giving us a like, thumbs up, all that usual YouTube and shies. And whether Firewall will be in Unreal Engine 4 or 5, you better stay Unreal Moist.